exports of energy. James Osina reports. Visible from several kilometers away, a giant flame burns at Russia's Portavaya gas plant. The site provides gas for the Nord Stream 1 pipeline, which is delivered to the European Union via Germany. And while flaring is a common practice in the industry, the sheer size of the bright orange light has caught analysts' attention. Some estimate that $10 million worth of gas is going to waste every day, which means that at least 9,000 tonnes of CO2 are being emitted daily. If they are burning somewhere a thousand euros per hour, and they have been doing that for a couple of months, so it is a big amount of money. This is also a big environmental problem, especially for the North Pole area where this um, uh, suit has, has definitely uh, effect on the global warming. The flaming occurs at a time when Russia has cut deliveries through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline to just 20% of its total capacity, with plans to shut it down entirely for three days next week, reportedly for maintenance on turbines. As prices continue to soar on the continent, the EU has accused Moscow of weaponizing gas as a response to Western sanctions for its war in Ukraine. Many experts say that it could simply turn off the taps to regulate production. Total Energy says it's selling its stake in a Siberian gas field to Russian oil and gas firm Novatek. A spokesperson has declined to say what the French energy giant will be doing with in Novatek itself. Since uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine began, Total Energy has held on to many of its assets in Russia. On the presidential decree from Moscow banned investors from unfriendly countries, including France, from selling shares in certain energy projects, but waivers could be granted in certain cases. As gas prices rise, governments have been trying to shield their citizens from taking the hit. France 24's Jean-Emile Jamin has more on policies which have been announced in the EU and Britain. As the war in Ukraine endures, Europe is paying its own dear price. Energy bills are soaring across the continent, while leaders scramble to offset the rising costs. All 27 member states of the European Union have been asked to voluntarily reduce demand by 15% this winter, as the threat of mandatory power cuts looms large. But countries are also seeking their own price-reducing policies. France has committed to an electricity cost increase cap of 4%. Vital, according to government. The price of gas would have gone up in unprecedented proportions if we hadn't implemented the price cap. This choice that we've made to protect purchasing power is our responsibility. Eventually, at the beginning of next year or in the next months, there may be increases that will be put on the table and discussed. To finance the move, majority state-owned utility EDF has also been ordered to sell cheap nuclear energy to rivals while the 26 billion euro aid package has been made available to reliant businesses. In Germany, income taxpayers will receive a one-off energy price allowance of 300 euros, with families receiving extra benefits. However, households will likely pay 500 euros more per year, used to help utilities cover the cost of lost Russian gas supplies. Italy has meanwhile set aside over 52 billion euros since January, aimed at supporting low-income families while also shielding firms from the energy price hike. Countries like Bulgaria, Greece and Romania have capped household payments to power producers, but Hungary has kept fuel prices low at the pump. Locals in the Netherlands, Poland and Spain will notice a tax cut on energy bills, while Denmark and Sweden have set aside large sums to compensate the most vulnerable. As the cost of living crisis batters the United Kingdom, Residents are likely to see another 80% increase in their annual energy bills. Despite providing a £37 billion support package, government has been urged to do more. The help coming in um, from October onwards, um, if everybody's bill will get £400 off that uh, in terms of uh, the additional um, uh, increase now, sort of deals with about half of it, um, but we know that's not enough. Uh, we've got to do more. Despite the latest efforts, forecasters say UK households could pay nearly £500 per month for energy throughout next year, a higher sum than rent or mortgage for many.